I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. Uh, I'm showing you some new stuff that uh, I've, one of these things I'm, I'm about to show you is I'm debating on actually going full throttle with it. Uh, and at the end, please leave some comments with it. So basically what I'm going to get to is this. So you own your Reaper, right? Whether it's a full size or this mini guy right here. Um, so you, you own your Reaper and you probably have some private land. You built your own range and stuff. And uh, instead of breaking down your targets, you know, most likely we don't break them down because we don't want to be lugging the steel all over the place. So Mother Nature's a beast, all right? She's brutal. Um, depending on where you live, the snow, uh, like for me, for instance, here, San Diego, we have a lot of salt in the air, right? We're next to the ocean. Salt water, that salt just eats up everything, all that massive corrosion. Your steel starts getting weak and everything else. And now if you're out somewhere else, that, that brittle uh, cold and stuff, so that's what it's all about. It, it damages our plates, our investment, what we work hard for, right? Our money. So what I came up with is simply this. All right, it's called, and uh, basically it's a bag, all right? Um, but it's unique, different type of bag is for where I live. I wanted to make sure that uh, where the elements, salt, the salt, water, air, and stuff wouldn't damage my plates and stuff. So I went down, checked out uh, down down to the marinas, find out what kind of material that they use to cover up their boats. And this is basically what it is. It's the same type of material, uh, breathes good, it protects it uh, from snow, uh, salt water, that type of thing, right? And it's called uh, the Reaper Rubber. So, because you, you gotta protect your investment, right? So, just simply take the bag, cover up your Reaper, there's a cinch, uh, there's a drawstring on the bottom, so it cinches it down, so you can close it down at the base. But the only thing that'd be exposed on this is the base plate. So, um, so yeah, like I said, thinking about going for full production of these things. Um, just let me know what you think. Uh, say if it's a good idea or not, or whatever. All right, but most likely I'm gonna go with it anyways, because we it still costs a lot, and you gotta protect your investment. So that's really it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please, once again. Uh, leave a comment, uh, follow us, share, share the videos and your ideas. All right. Appreciate it. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you.